It's been a while, old man. The tower looks at you and sees a god. But I see a thug. A murderer. Betrayer. You know why I left the Infinite Forest. What I saw. A line has been drawn in this system. Light on one side, dark on the other. Where do you stand? What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. If you guys do not know, I did change the name of the channel, and it is for good reason. However, that is not what this video is for. This video is to let you know where Zer is, and he is on the EDZ. And by the winding cove, so let's go find out what he has this week. I have a message Zer! What's up, dude? I'm gonna take a little seat right here. So, like always, we're gonna start with the left hand side. The weapon of the week is the Colony. It is an exotic grenade launcher. Then we have uh, Radiant Flux for the Hunter. Mask of the Quiet One for the Titan, as well as Crown of Tempests for the Warlock. So we are going to go ahead and start with the Weapon of the Week, Colony. Uh, in terms of perk on this is Insectoid Robot Grenades, which this weapon, uh, this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Then we have Linear Compensator, High Velocity Rounds, Serve the Colony, which insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. And then last but not least, we have composite stock. Coming down here, it does have a catalyst. However, catalyst does not come with it. And we do have a, a couple of uh, ornaments. This is vice silver. And unfortunately, these ornaments do not come with it. This is sneak attack. And then my personal favorite, the colony XZ812. That looks pretty badass, just saying. Whoops. So, if you guys do not have the colony, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Uh, if you guys don't know the tier skill, I will put it down in the description box below for you guys to go ahead and check that out. Next, we are uh, going over the Radiant Flux. Turn to perk on this is Snap East Junctions, which quick successive attacks with Arc Staff increases damage, output, and duration. And we do have one ornament called Thunder God, and this looks amazing. It really does. I love the way this thing looks. If you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a good exotic, great exotic for your pole dancer, whether it be PvE as well as PvP. And I will definitely go ahead and give this a tier 2, or maybe an argument could be made for a tier 1.5, or even a tier 1. But uh, this definitely is de uh, top tier for your pole dancer. So definitely go ahead and get the Radiant Flux if you do not have one. Next, Mask of the Quiet One. Trend to perk on this is a Dreaded the Siege, which grants ability energy when you're damaged, when critically wounded, regain maximum health on kills. This thing is amazing. If you guys don't have it, definitely go ahead and grab it. Um, however, one thing that I did forget to mention, uh, this and this do not really have the stats that I like on them because I personally like to go for a total of 55 or higher um, and neither of these do have that, nor do they have at least one stat that is plus 13 or higher. So I'm kind of on the fence about that real quick, but it's okay. Um, they're both still good exotics. If you don't have them, grab them, you know. Um, then try to get one that has a total of 55 or higher, including Crown of Tempests, uh, which still only has a total of 50, but it does have a plus 13 in mobility. So, with that said, let's go over to Crown of Tempests. Intrinsic perk on this is Conductive Tines, which arc ability kills increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance. If you guys do not have any of these, go ahead and grab them. But like I said, try to get a better version of it with a total higher than 55. Um, also with a stat that is plus 13 or higher. Now, 
for the consumables, we have your Five of Swords, which is your Nightfall Challenge card, and then your Invitation to Nine, from which I will never, ever complete ever again. Because I don't see the point in it. Last but not least, go ahead and buy these if you do not have them before popping the Exotic Engram, because you do have a chance to grab these um, in your Exotic Engram if you do not already have them. Let's go ahead and see what I get this week from the Exotic Engram. Capri Sting. Now, I already have one of those. Uh, it's probably in my vault. And it actually has a total of 57, which is great. Uh, especially when it has a uh, plus 13 in mobility and a plus 15 in discipline. However, I do feel like this exotic needs a little bit more um, oomph to it. But we'll see what happens. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny community for LFG on all platforms, content creators, and you can reach me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys next time.